Hi, I'm Attachment Specialist Adam Lane Smith, and today I want to talk to young men, and maybe old men, about how to attract and, and approach women with more confidence. Because a lot of guys view women as like wild animals, and they don't know how to approach them, and you kind of got to sneak up and like hold out a sugar cube and hope that she'll smell the sugar cube and not run away into the woods. That's how a lot of guys approach women. Other guys think that women are tigers who are going to maul them and kill them. Hopefully the truth is a balance <laughs> somewhere in between. In fact, you might be shocked to hear that women are people and they are just like us, just like us. And they have specific things that they're looking for. And they're also typically the ones you want to talk to pretty forgiving, pretty easy to talk to and are pretty worried about us too. It's kind of like a bear. Women are kind of like a bear. They're just as scared of you or more scared of you as you are of them. There's a lot of animal things going on here. Um, the best thing I can tell you, the best thing, best secret I can possibly tell you is not to be yourself. <laughs> this is the worst advice in the world because what version of yourself are you going to be? When people say be yourself, what they're really saying is be authentic. They're really saying be authentic. And women do want you to be authentic. Don't walk up to a woman trying to be fake. Don't walk up and say, hey, baby, have you pick up lines? They don't work. It makes you sound way too polished. So you already sound like a slime ball that she should not have in your life. Pick up lines will not work. So don't do them. And if they do work, Probably not good because she's so insecure and lonely that she's willing to attach to somebody who's using a slime ball pickup line. Probably not the good, but not the, the good idea here. Authenticity. Authenticity is what you're going for, but the best version of you. Be the best version of yourself when you approach women. That is the way to do it with confidence. And there's a few ways that that breaks down. How do you be the best version of yourself? Well, number one, physically, you optimize. Now, women are not completely mindlessly obsessed with physical appearance. It is a nice way to open the door sometimes if you are more attractive, but clothes are just as important as face, as body structure. Clothes are just as important. and Fitness is just as important. So even if you're ugly, you can be fit and very nicely dressed. And I don't mean just like, oh, look at you, you have a little tie. I mean nicely dressed, maybe in branded clothing, maybe in something that shows your status. I've worked with, over the years, I've talked to and worked with a lot of men's fashion coaches, and they will tell you that men dress, especially Tanner Guzzi on Twitter talks about this, men dress to exude power. Your outfit talks about who, what tribe you are part of and the power that you hold within that tribe. So wearing a wristwatch, for example, my time is worth tracking. That's a mental signal. My time is actually worth tracking. Wearing a nice blazer, wearing a nice shirt. If I'm up here and just, what do they call them? A, a wife beater, I think is the inappropriate name. If I'm just, if I was here at a wife beater, just sitting here going, hey guys, how you doing? And it, probably not great. That's why I'm dressed actually decently in this video. These things matter. Taking care of your hair, taking care of your appearance, being fit at least. If you are ugly and overweight and poorly dressed and have a bare, bad haircut, really bad optimize. Now you don't need to be the giga chad where you walk up with a, with a 40 pack abs down to your knees kind of thing. And you just look incredible. No, that's not really what most women are looking for. Reasonable attractiveness, just so that they kind of go, Oh, he's kind of attractive. Again, works with the clothes too. They go, Oh wow. Look at that guy. He's really nicely dressed. Wow. He's really well put together. Yeah. His face is okay, but look at the rest of him. He's really put together. Women do notice if they, you think they don't, Let's talk about shoes. Let's talk about accessories. Let's talk about those things women notice. The overall package of attractiveness is key. Learning to optimize for you at least gets the door open. That will help optimize your outfit, optimize your hair, optimize your skin, your, 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 your uh, hygiene, your everything. Just optimize. You don't have to be obsessive and perfect. But try to get fit, get as fit as you can, build some muscle, the, the, the bulkiness, it, it looks pretty good. You can look good wearing anything if you're decently fit, decently. 
decently fit with nicer clothes. It costs a little bit more, not $5,000 per outfit. Optimize that. That will help with, the, with confidence, number one. And then be the best version of yourself. Be authentic when you're having a conversation. How would you talk to another human being that you are interested in getting to know? Talk that way to women. <laughs> that is the best thing I could possibly tell you. And the more attractive the woman, the more likely it is that she very rarely hears people talk to her like a normal person. Because the more attractive a woman is, the more often she probably hears, hey, baby. And nobody wants to hear, hey, baby, as an opening for a conversation. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Don't go there. Have a normal conversation. I don't want to say talk to a woman as if she's a man, because that's not really correct. But talk to her as if she was just a completely normal human being that you happened to have to have a conversation with open with something that you would normally open with, an observation about the environment or an observation about them. Again, keep these appropriate. Ask questions. Open with a question. Most guys don't even think about that. Open with a question, which is an invitation for conversation. Don't say, hi, am I allowed to sit here? Am I allowed to talk to you? Not a great question. Walking over and saying, hi, would you like to talk? Hey, are you, are you waiting for anybody or are you free to talk? That right there, are you waiting for anyone or are you free to talk? Pretty good opening move right there. Because that tells him, hey, he's actually here to talk. He's being respectful. And in today's modern day, that is consent. That is consent to talk. You're going to get the idea. And also, if she's not a drag, if she's not interested at all, she will say, oh, no, sorry, I'm waiting for someone. Okay, pff, done. Walk off. Leave. It tells you a lot. As you optimize your physical appearance, you probably more and more will get, yeah, please sit down. Let's talk. No, I'm, I'm ready to talk. Yeah, I have somebody coming, but that's okay. I have five minutes. Especially as you learn to be your actual authentic self. And I keep harping on this, but go back and fix attachment because you can't be your authentic self if you have broken attachment because you are trying to be what other people want you to be instead of being yourself. So you will be trying to be what these women want you to be instead of being who you are and attracting a woman who is attracted to the kind of man that you are. That's a key difference. Did I just blow your mind? Let me say it again. Fix your attachment so that you attract the kind of women who are attracted to the man that you are. Optimize yourself so that women who like you and men like you say, hey, I like that kind of guy. He's pretty cool. He's, his face is okay, but he dresses nice. He takes care of himself. He's able to have conversations. He's opening with questions. He's asking me more questions. We'll get to that in a minute. And he's got some decent confidence in himself. He's not just trying to be what I want him to be. He's, he's kind of being himself. That's cool. That right there puts you above 95% of men. Now, if you want to be in the top, above 95 to 99 you don't have to be a stunning, stunning ultra supermodel with a Lamborghini. You need to learn all of those things, plus motivational interviewing. Motivational interviewing is asking the art of asking branching questions with pauses and with reflections and with active listening so that you're not just you know, interrogating them with a police flashlight. You are asking the questions, listening, reflecting, maybe adding a one short sentence statement about yourself to introduce some information about yourself and volunteer, and then asking a follow-up question based on what she just said. It's an art of conversation that goes back and forth. That also makes you attractive to women. So you're confident, you're physically put well together, you've put some money into your clothing so they can tell you are not dead broke. You take care of yourself and take pride in their body so you can see that you have discipline because you've disciplined your body, that you have good approach so you're considerate, you're asking questions so you have good social abilities and good social competence. All of these things add up. So you will start attracting a higher level of woman. Maybe you won't walk up to the absolute like millionaire stunning supermodel on your first attempt and say, hey baby, and she says, nope. <laughs> Probably because you did the hey baby. But also those women, a lot of them, the super attractive ones, they are not even used to being treated like normal humans. So if you as a normal human walked up and said, hey, as you confident, optimize, hey, is it okay if I sit here and talk with you or are you waiting for someone? 
Do you want to talk? Do you have five minutes? Tell me about yourself. Do you have five minutes? You look like an interesting person. Do you have five minutes? You look like someone I'd like to get to know. And if they ask, well, what do you mean? Have a good answer. Don't say, well, your face is hot. <laughs> I'm staring at your butt across the club. No. You say, well, you're reading a book. Well, you're sitting here looking thoughtful. And I like people who look thoughtful. If you don't want to go that route, if you're not comfortable parrying those kind of things yet, like James Bond, then walk up and say, hey, you know, I, I like to get to know people. Tell me about yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself and then ask another guiding question on top of that. Tell me about yourself. What do you do for a living? Where, do you, are you, where are you from? Where are you from is a pretty great conversation to open with because it gives you a lot of information because then they'll start talking about their family and their friends and, and different areas. And whatever they say, wherever the location is, you say, oh, how is that place? Is it nice? I haven't been there before. Even if you have been there, don't lie and say you haven't, but say, hey, where, what is that? What's that place like? Is it nice? And you're either going to say, yeah, it's great. Well, what's great about it? Tell me about it. Maybe I'll visit it sometime. Now you're having a conversation about her hometown that is not threatening. And she may say, no, it's horrible. Oh, really? Like, what's wrong? Now you're going to get crucial information about how she grew up, what she's not happy with. You're going to start seeing what she likes, what she doesn't like. All kinds of stuff flows from this. So, hey, where are you from? Are you from around here? Do you like it? Yeah, I grew up here too. Do you like it? What do you like about this place? What do you don't like about this place? What's good? What's bad? Tell me about you. Because you're learning about her while she's talking about that other thing. Everything she talks about is telling you really about her. It's telling you her perspective on those things. This, getting her talking, eliciting her input, saying, well, yeah, no, I'd love to learn about that. Now you're an interesting guy who's optimized physically, who is attractive in multiple ways, and now who is taking her input and interested in what she has to say. <laughs> now you're the ultra threat. Now you have become James Bond. If you do all of this, notice none of this is about you being like ridiculously rich. Again, 40 pack abs down to your knees or having like a Lamborghini outside or in a tuxedo or getting her drunk or getting yourself drunk. No, fix your attachment if there's a problem. Optimize your physical body, what you've got. Study motivational interviewing so you can ask questions without interrogating. And then open with a good, a good question. Hey, are you waiting for anyone or are you free to talk? And then, tell me about yourself. Where are you from? Boom, boom. Right there. Open with two questions. Do that. Because you're also turning conversation control over to her at that point. You're opening and serving, and you're playing, you're playing ping pong together. You're playing tennis together, batting it back and forth, which is really crucial that you be able to do that over and over and over and have a conversation. But you're also guiding it. You're also guiding it without taking control. This is how you approach women with confidence. This is how you approach anybody with confidence, realistically. Anybody, this is a great way to approach. If you're at work and you're trying to get a promotion, all of these things pretty much apply at work. All of these things pretty much apply at work. Because networking, networking, socializing, all of those things are key for promotions. It's who you know. Talk about that. Everything I just told you about dating works just as well for socialization and networking. This is how you approach people with confidence. It's even people who happen to be female. This is how you can do that. So women watching this, learning about my special pickup tactics, my depraved tactics of learning to talk to you like a human being. If you're watching this, please leave a comment. Yeah, this sounds like good stuff, guys. Please do this. Encourage them. If it sounds terrible, leave that comment too. Let me know. <laughs> Guys, if you've tried this, if you try it tonight and it works, great. Leave me a comment for that. I'd love to hear it. Please like, comment, subscribe, support the channel, boost the message, send this to your bros. Let's get a better conversation out there about how men can approach women than walk up to them and insult them and, what is it, negging? Neg them and then make them feel like crap so then now they have to win your approval. And let's, 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 let's step back from that and let's work on this conversation right here first. I think we can do that together. Thank you.